Hi, David and Stephanie. This is Hector Mercedes with the dealership community Chrysler Dodge and Jeep here in Martinsville, Indiana. I've been tasked with uh, providing you excellent service, and in doing so, I'm going to do a video of this 2010 Dodge Ram 3500 long bed. I believe it's a long bed. Yeah, it's a long bed. 3500 long bed, and uh, we're going to go through both the pros and the cons and everything in between. So, here we go. Starting with the outside here, you can see that the uh, previous owner has put a lot of upgrades on the vehicle. Starting here at the front, you'll notice the uh, headlights have been swapped out uh, for aftermarket headlights. And then he also blacked out the uh, crow, or I'm sorry, the um, the fog lights as well. Tires have been upgraded as well as the wheels. He's got a bit of a lift on the vehicle as well. Side step bars, chrome. I believe this is a connection to the glow plug on the inside. We also have uh, fender flares uh, to help protect against uh, rust that usually starts to form around this area here. So look at, again at the, uh, the lift that they put on the vehicle. Tires in pretty decent shape. There's the wear bar there. Plenty of meat left on these guys here. Around the back you've got a tow package and then inside the bed is also a bed liner as well as your gooseneck uh, ball and hitch. So she's already ready to go for hauling. On the passenger side here, you can see a massive exhaust system uh, already installed. We'll uh, start her up here in a moment so you can hear how that runs. Moving along the side here, not too bad <coughs> on the, uh, the exterior. There are a couple of scratches and stuff like that you can see. Looks like they've already been kind of touched up. I don't know if you can see that there. Let me see if I can focus in. There we go. So yeah, a couple of scratches on the exterior, but they've already been touched up. And at 140,000 miles, I mean, you're going to expect something like that uh, with a vehicle of this many miles. Here we are again on the passenger side. You can see, you can see the uh, side step bar and just kind of a step back here to see the uh, truck on this side. I apologize for it being so loud. I'm right next to the highway here where we've parked the truck. Uh, the search lights up at the top there also have been blacked out as well. Not sure if those are just uh, cap pullovers or if those were added after the fact. So, grabbing the key to the vehicle here, we can unlock it and we'll go through the interior as well starting in the back it is a crew cab truck so you got the extra six inches that you do or that you would from a quad cab interior is uh, relatively clean actually very clean uh, no major uh, tears or rips in the uh, upholstery no major stains, no funky smells of any kind. And this feature here is kind of cool. Uh, in the floorboard here, you have a waterproof container that can hold uh, ice uh, and drinks or, you know, sandwiches or whatever. Uh, so you can put that, and that's on both sides, both the driver and passenger side, uh, that you can fit that, uh, that in. And then the rear passengers are also treated to rear heat and AC as well. Uh, they both come out of the vents here, and uh, there's a floor vent right there uh, that uh, also works. Cup holders, and then the seats also will fold up. Uh, so if you have any tools or anything of that nature, you can uh, you can stow them uh, back here. And then underneath here, you've got uh, storage as well for any items that you, that need to be stowed away. Uh, but both sides do that. 
Moving to the driver's side here, you can see that you've got power windows, locks, and mirrors. The mirrors are also heated, so if any of the, uh, or when you hit the defrost button, uh, you will also defrost the mirrors as well, uh, which is quite nice on uh, the winters that we've been having. Moving in here to the cabin, you can see that you do have the trailer brake control already installed inside the vehicle. That's factory installed, by the way. Taking a step up into the cabin here. I'm going to close this so you guys can hear me better. There we go. Here we are. You got your lights control, steering wheel controls for your information center. And then on the back of the steering wheel, you can't really see it. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, but uh, yeah, there they are. There are steering wheel stereo controls too. Uh, so, you know, it's all about keeping your hands on the wheel uh, and your eyes uh, on the road. So, moving along here. Here is a look at your four-wheel drive system. If I can get it to focus, maybe. Maybe. There we go. Four-wheel drive system. Two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive lock, and four-wheel drive low. Aftermarket uh, stereo system with auxiliary input uh, for your cell phone. CD player. Uh, looks like you got a jaybreak as well. Uh, tow haul button. And uh, this button here uh, allows you to uh, pretty much charge anything with a two or three prong plug. And uh, that you access in the back uh, as well. But to turn that on, you can... Um, uh, you press that button. Heat and air conditioning controls, those are pretty self-explanatory. And then of course you have cup holders, three of them. Moving on to the side here, you can see plenty of storage on the inside here. Got these little dividers, kind of neat, kind of keep things separated. And then of course a place to charge your cell phone down here, as well as here and here. Oh, and actually here's that uh, plug I was telling you about. Uh, you can plug uh, anything that is two prong uh, into that and uh, charge that device uh, or run that device uh, off the battery as well. So it converts the DC to AC basically. And it uh, looks like uh, whoever owned it previously also had the vehicle, it looks like they had it chipped. Um, I honestly don't know too many things about uh, how these uh, these things work, but we're going to go ahead and give her a start up here and kind of work everything, make sure everything works and, and uh, go over it. And of course, over here you have the rear window uh, slider as well. So that's a power slider for the rear window uh, in the back there. So let's go ahead and give her a